Well, for the first time in almost 10 years, I didn't aerate my lawn this year. But I did. Well, I didn't. I meant what I said. I actually hired the neighbor kid to come aerate my lawn this year, and he did a great job. Nice to have a local lawn kid uh, with a little bit of grind and hustle. I want to support him, and I just didn't have time. So it was a big help for me to have him come over and take care of that. Uh, he did also run the aerator along the putting green, which awesome. And that's gonna be my primary focus of the video today, but I also wanna talk about why it's important to aerate and put to rest my opinion on whether or not it's better to aerate in the spring or the fall. So step one for me here, as far as cleanup goes, I have already gone over the front yard with my Time Master and just kind of sucked up as much of the cores as I could. I don't like the cores sitting out on the front yard. I don't like the look of it. And I want more access to the holes. The backyard, uh, I'm probably just going to leave the cores. I usually do. Not a problem. They'll break down over time and I still have access to the holes. I just want the front yard looking as good as possible. Uh, with the putting green, what I'm gonna do here, actually, I'm gonna have some fun with my backpack leaf blower and just blow them off into a pile and just let them disintegrate behind the shed here. That's where all the stuff goes, grass clippings, uh, cores, all that. It goes behind the shed or under the trampoline. So, gonna clear that off and then I'm going to be top dressing with sand on my putting green, doing some leveling and some smoothing and top dressing is also just good for putting greens in general because it helps with drainage. So gonna be taking care of that as well. A uh, little bit of work to do here. So let's have some fun with the leaf blower and go over the sanding and all of that. glad to have that cleared off and make way for the sand and fertilizer that I'm about to put down here. And that's really the whole point behind aeration is to one, alleviate the compacted soil, but two, it gives you a wide open door to the root zone. And that's where all the air, water, and fertilizer and the nutrients that come with it need to go and need to be so that it can be quickly taken up by the grass and used so that you can get really nice results. And that's the idea here as well so sand is going down first and, and then i'm going to hit it with some fertilizer to have a nice comeback and we should be good to go now what about the whole spring versus fall debate well here's my thoughts personally i don't care when you do it as long as you're doing it best time to do it is in the fall or the spring my preference is the fall and here's why you have the whole grass growing season where you have equipment on the lawn and the kids are playing on the lawn every day, at least mine are. And there's just a lot of traffic going on on the lawn throughout the whole season. It's going to get compacted. I like to uncompact it and aerate it in the fall time so that I can get as much nutrition and stuff in the in the soil as possible going into winter so that I can ensure a better recovery from winter the next spring. So that's really just my personal preference. I'd rather relieve the compaction before winter than after winter and I already have nutrients in the soil at the beginning of next season. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. What's your argument for your preference? Stick around if you're not already subscribed for the next video. There are some products that I'm going to be putting down around the rest of my yard to really 
green things up and condition the soil and make things look just really, really good in preparation for showing off for everyone that walks through the neighborhood on Halloween. So that's gonna go ahead and do it for me today. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'm gonna go ahead and play with some sand, have a little bit of a beach day. I'll catch you next time.